every wise person knows that you must first be at peace and truthful with yourself before you can begin to truly see. It's funny how everyone wants to blame the gods. It's not the curse of gods. It's the curse of men. Karen creates all and is hard. Karen creates all and is hard. Karen creates all and Morning, beautiful people. It's time for day two of vlogging. I know I was late with yesterday. I was I said I was gonna start yesterday and I actually start today, but every day I'm getting to it. All right. Hey y'all, hey, it's another beautiful day. <laughs> What's going on, folks? Um yeah, not much going on. Just uh just had my coffee. Uh about to look for my clip ins because I'm not wearing them today, but when I go out tomorrow, I'll probably if I have any left, if I do, I'll need to wash them and get them all prepped, you know reflat iron them and stuff like that so about to look for those for tomorrow yeah. but all right good morning and i will see you guys in a little bit because you know i'm trying to do one video a day for i don't know how long i'm gonna do this maybe i'll get used to it again but we'll see all right okay so i'm uploading my video from from for youtube from yesterday and i decided to i did oh i looked for my clip-ins i did have more uh more so i do my own so i use these clips here and I put them on myself. I've been doing it myself for a long time because it's just better. You can sculpt it better to your own personal head shape. And, uh, yeah. yeah. I think it's cheaper to, to do your own. But don't quote me on that part. Probably it's cheaper. But, uh, yeah, this is just what I'm doing right now. My grandbaby's taking a nap downstairs with, um, my daughter has her. She's holding her. Um, yeah. She's not going to stay as long today. She's getting picked up early today. Um, not too little. My girl's so perfect, y'all. I need my kids and my family. But yeah, let me finish doing this, and I will see you guys as a day progresses. All right. My son wants to go somewhere today, too, so i trying to figure out where I'm going to take him. My baby boy, he said, he just wants to go somewhere. So when my grandbaby's picked up, i got to find something fun for him to do. I don't know what that is. Because they don't, they don't play at the playground anymore. They're too big. So, yeah. But, all right. It's wild, y'all. I had to pause what I was watching to share it with y'all. Check these clips out. Oh, my gosh. Atrocious. Like, I'm just going to say it's sad. Because women, I know women can fall in love hard and stuff like that and our emotions are different we're just built differently men and women are and i say this and people get mad at me for that oh i can do that no no you can't think like him no you can't no now you can think like you and women can be strong too and i've seen that and i'm one i'm well off and on strength because i've been weak but now i'm at my strongest when it comes to like how to deal with men you know what i mean so uh I understand the weakness though because I've been there. Just not like a lot of people. It's, it's been simple stuff. The minute someone cheats, that's it. The minute I found out, that's it. There's never been a point where I've allowed people to cheat on me and stay with them that I knew they were cheating. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. I've never allowed abuse. You know what I mean? I've never, certain things I won't allow, but some women stay. And that's because they're not as mentally strong. And everyone differs in strength and mental strength. There's nothing wrong with that. It's normal. You shouldn't be played like that though. At the end of the day, it's so bad though. It's so bad. I just wish that if people weren't with who they liked and didn't, they would just say so and just, like, separate. Separate. It's not right to hurt people. It really just isn't. But check out these clips. Boy tries to do something mad with a goal, mm. and he has a goal. And you say to him, bro, like, what about your goal? The look he will give you yeah. will tell like, you everything. Be like, there will be, like, some guys that will give some extreme side eyes. But even then, that's... Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck! Hello? Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm with my friends, so talk to you later. Bye. Who was that? That was my baby girl. Love my life. Oh, because it sounds like you fucking hate her. Well, you don't understand how relationships work. It's a lot of ups and downs. It's not just perfect all the time. Actually, I do. I've been married for four years. I've never talked to her like that. Oh, well, okay. Maybe I hate her a little bit. Then why are you with her? Because of the sex. Don't say because of the sex. Uh... 
Because uh, she has a car. Am I a piece of shit? Yes. If you were a dude that constantly disrespects you, shows disinterest in you, but every time you try to leave, he begs you to stay, he hates himself. And he just doesn't want to be alone. It has nothing to do with you. He just hates himself and doesn't want to be alone. The crazy thing about it is, the reason y'all, a lot of y'all women stay, because y'all kind of hate yourselves too. And, ooh, I can fix him. That'd be all. <laughs> Never trust a man's feelings in the first three to six months of dating. At the beginning, all right, the notorious honeymoon phase, the excitement and attraction of a new woman can trigger an increase in testosterone levels in a man, and this can lead into intense feelings of desire and passion, which may cloud his judgment, because this boost of testosterone actually blocks another hormone called oxytocin, which is the responsible in promoting attachment between partners. So what happens many times is that once his infatuation fades away and his testosterone decreases, many guys pull away and search for that rush of emotions again and someone new, instead of slowly developing a deeper emotional connection with you. I was trying to bootleg, but, my, but babes woke up, so I will post the link probably down below. Probably. Probably not, though, because I don't... Yeah, I don't really like posting links like that, uh, unless the whole video flows, but I mean, it's a good video. We'll see. Or I'll just come back to do the clips when she takes another nap. All right. A phase where you slowly start hating your girlfriend is crazy. When she holds your hand in public and you feel like cutting it off. Yeah. <laughs> when the problem asks you what the problem is. <laughs> This one? Oh. When her smile takes away yours. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Oh, oh God. When she says, I'll call you when I get home, then you switch off your phone and remove the battery. Then <laughs> <laughs> removing the battery breaks. He, <laughs> he doesn't want to communicate Man, with anyone. There's no chance you're getting through to me. <laughs> Remove the battery. <laughs> I remember this one time on a weekend. She said she was coming. Yo, I cried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. I am so upset that I <laughs> that I laughed, but it's super de duper funny. Um, it's so messed up. It's just funny. It's so effed up though. Like, <laughs> why be with someone if you don't love it? Just, just to leave people. I don't know why it's so hard for men to just end it. They always want you to end it. Which is strange. Just end it. You're men. Be strong. Be tough, strong men. Just go. Go where you're happy. Go where you're valued. Go where whatever. Whatever you want. Go get it. But don't stay with something that's not making you happy. That's just crazy. Biz. But anyway, all right, y'all. Why? Why? Now remember, ladies, all these high-value men will tell you directly to your face that they don't want you. And you should know. Even if they lie to you, you should know their true intentions. You should just know. You should know that man hates you even if he goes through the greatest of greatest of lengths to hide the fact that he hates you from you. You should know. These type of men get the women that they hate pregnant and then say sh like she won't leave me alone, she's crazy, she won't let me dodge my responsibilities. <laughs> men should never be confused as to why women ask them every single day if they still like them. Do you still like me? Does the thought of me repulse you? Are you telling people that you're spitting on my back after you agree to have sex? Are you on Twitter embarrassing yourself and this relationship? Let me know before you move in, Tyrone. Let me know. Just awful. That's perfect skin. Clear as I can know anything on the face, like... Just like that? Yes. White? Right. But as white as possible? I'm Not too white, well, would too Not white like be. you're sick. Yeah. But white as possible. Well, here, let me show you a couple things. That, so this is girls' generation, right? Yeah, this that's is right. Korea. That's Korea, right? yeah. But that looks, is that not sick? No, it's not. They have different tone. Like, they have, like, a uh, darker skin and white skin. It's different. But that's really white, though, man. How about you? Let me look at your skin. Would people say you're not white enough? I mean, I was white, but, like, I went to Bahamas. 
for vacation. <laughs> so that's why I get a little bit darker skin. But but in but in a pre, in a world in Chinese culture, would you'd be preferable if you were a little lighter? Yeah, I was. But like for now, I like China. But look, you're not here though. Why is it that when I look at all these bands like in China mm -hmm. and in Korea, they all have really white skin? Culture stuff. Culture stuff. Me, the preference for whiteness. But is it whiteness? Because what I've been reading a lot is it's actually not whiteness, it's youth. It's like the real, like the complexion of a newborn white child. It's not even a white person. Probably because like Chinese people are hard to get whiter, I think. Are what? It's hard to get like lighter skin, I think. Yeah, that's why we have skin whitening cream. Two years ago, I was in Ethiopia. And I was in the, and I went into a pharmacy. I was in a pharmacy waiting for a friend of mine. And see, can you see what that says? It says white perfect. It's not just skin whitening cream. It's like perfect white. So it's the number one skin product in in the world, and certainly in Korea and China. So why are people using this? What what is that about? Skin will look better. They look better. Yeah, because like if you have darker skin, it's like a little bit showing an age a little bit older, I think. I think people think uh, like the person who has brighter skin is prettier. Yeah, okay. Like no matter how their like eyes or nose look like, but as long as they have brighter skin, they just automatically look prettier. You would agree with that? I think so. I wish she would well, stop asking this one question because right? so she don't have a brain that, in her right? head. This one. I think what I'm really that struck by right? is the politics of skin, like how this is such a touchy subject in every culture, and it's not just the U.S. We're all just like, we're dancing around it. So I just got finished watching something that, where someone was claiming that, oh shoot, I hope you can see it. Someone was claiming that racism, I mean colorism doesn't exist everywhere across the world. Stop playing. I talk about this, I've talked about this quite a few times, you know, over the years. Um, I am thankful, however, that I did not grow up in a family that focused, being black is different though, that focused on color. Like, no, not saying it does exist big time. It does exist in homes across the world for everybody, including black people, especially with black people. I ain't gonna say especially, it's just especially with everybody. But, um, I'm glad that my household wouldn't, we never talked about skin complexion or anything like that. There was... One skin complexion that we did talk about, though, sometimes that was pointed out. Um, and it was by, not within the family, it was by people outside the family. I had a family member that was darker complected, like dark skin, and she would get made fun of for her dark skin. But not inside the household. That's not something we ever even conversed about. Um, it's just really interesting. Like, my mother, I was raised by my mom. And, um, yes, I knew my dad, but I don't know what that. But... And she wasn't, like, she didn't talk about, like, white people badly. She didn't talk about anybody badly. She was just, she was well-traveled, and she was just a uh, open spirit, a uh, free spirit. So she didn't really, that's, those weren't her concerns. You know, she got, she meshed well with everyone. So and she was an extremely educated woman, so she just, yeah, meshed well with everyone. Um, so that's not something I grew up with. And also the fact that my family has, uh, from the lightest to the darkest, no like mixing, I have one cousin that is half Indian from India, you know, her mom was from India, and then that was it. And then um, me, I was the first to like mix in, as far as like, before, you know, so, um, and it did get, however, I did have, oh, I loved, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna point out people, but I did have people within my family that did not like um, that didn't particularly care for white people and I could tell in their behavior they wouldn't say anything or talk about it but I could tell in the interaction within the world uh, around the world and everything how they made sure they got their respect and everything like that and how was it, it was a thing that he, they, they were adamant about because it, 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 it needed to be known you know what I mean so yeah but as far as like dealing with like complexions I've always seen my family is all complexions all eye colors all hair textures I have we got red hair freckles all that stuff in my family so and that's naturally just within our bloodline. So it's just interesting to me. And people, and this is another reason why I hear people say, you got to be mixed to have these things. No, you don't. No, no you got to be, you, you can be black or you can be mixed or something. But it's within, black is everything. But, um, and I was so shocked. I remember when I moved 
Well, I'm not gonna go all down. But I was so shocked when I saw the first family that I've seen that was a black family. They were all the same skin color. I was so confused. You know, so, but anyway, yeah. And, and before people say something dumb, no, I'm the only one with a different father. With my family. I have multiple siblings. They all have the same father and they are all different. The skin complexion is different. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I just, I just think it's crazy biz because, but it's all about being ignorant. People, some people just don't know. And I didn't think it, a family existed that was, you know what I mean? A black family at least. But yeah, so we all have to learn. I had to learn. The world has to learn. But yeah, it's crazy biz. Though, to say that it doesn't exist everywhere is wild. And just lying. It's just blatant lies. <laughs> and I understand, like, it's an ugly thing. People don't want to, I guess, acknowledge it. But you have to. You have to. to you, things don't go away by ignoring them. They go away by resolving the issue. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm watching something else crazy now. Um, the man who was who investigated lynchings by passing his white. I might post a link down there. But all right, y'all. The first time I've ever seen this channel or anything. So I don't know anything about the creator or anything. But that's what I'm watching. All right. If I say it once, I'll say it again. I always say it. We need to love each other better, y'all. It was solved so much just to love and just be ourselves. There's a lot of solution to that. In racism, love each other better. Boom. World peace. <laughs> I know I joke and giggle a lot, but I'm, I swear we need more love. I swear love is a solution to a lot of things. And also realness, obviously. Realness within racism, you know, all that. But yeah, because racism is the number one issue. Then we can handle all the other stuff. I'm not saying because racism is an issue and it's not ending anytime soon, it doesn't appear to be, that we don't focus on other issues too, because there's lots of, that's why we talk, you know, but yeah. My boobers, boobers, I'm on Baylor's, you over here, Dylan, Dylan Baylor's. <laughs> this lady talk about infidelities on um, family or fiance, right? And how her, her fiance cheated on her or whatever, and she's like, and she's still with them and stuff like that. Let me explain to y'all about me. All right, remember I said earlier how if someone cheated on me, it's over. There's no going back. There's no ever looking at me ever again because you chose what you wanted. I feel disrespected and you don't love me. That's how I internalize it because that's exactly what it is. Because if you treasure me in any way, plus you open me up and risking me to whatever types of cooties are out there on top of that, endangering my life. You know what I mean? So you didn't care about my feelings. You weren't thinking of me. You weren't considering me. You hate me. You hate me because if you love me, love does not do that to you. Love is, does not cheat. I haven't cheated on you. And why do I not cheat? Because I love you, stupid. You know, sorry for calling names. But yeah, but that's how I felt. You know, so yeah, that's why I can't tolerate certain things. I can't tolerate cheating. And cheating can be, it doesn't have to always be physical. But it was always physical when I broke up. That's because when I found out somebody cheated, that's just it. Um, you can have an emotional connection, too, with someone that uh, can be um, detrimental to your relationship as well. That you shouldn't be connecting on us with another person that way. But um, my baby's down, so she's about to leave. Uh, her mom's basically here, but she's down with my daughter. With my daughter, but well, my daughter, my son. But yeah, it, that's why. But uh, after all is said and done, though, me personally, I don't harbor resentment um, towards men. I love men. Men are beautiful. <laughs> They're beautiful. Um, so you know, <laughs> but um, yeah, and I and we all. We all just do what we do. You know, I just wish more love for us and hope that we find the things that we need and that we desire. You know, yeah, truthfully though. But yeah, anyway, enough for this video. I think I'm done for today. Talk to y'all later, Gators. Watching Honey I Shrunk the Kids for old time's sake. <laughs> I'm such a nutcase. Y'all, I'm an absolute nutcase. But yeah, I am watching Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Good night. I did get further along in my painting, though. I got further along in my painting. Um, I don't know how, to f how I feel about it yet because it's not, it has not come full circle. But, uh, I don't know how much I like it right now. <laughs> this is to be honest, but yeah. We'll see. I'll love it in the end. I just gotta bring my vision to surface. Okay, so I'm about to wipe y'all off. I keep telling y'all, like, it's foggy out here. Like, it's foggy outside in general. Hey, y'all. <laughs> and I know it's going to get foggy at any moment, but I want to say good night to y'all. Um, good evening. Because I said that I would talk to y'all every after day. So the fact that I said that I would talk to y'all every after day, that means every after day. I see it getting foggy again. Wait a minute, y'all.
Oh, all of it's dumb, right? The fact that I said I was talking to y'all every freaking day, I'll talk to you every freaking day. Yeah. Oh, I'm not the Even if nobody thinks it's okay. <laughs> I'm so dumb, y'all. I always like seeing my grandbaby like outrageous songs because I think that's super important, like to liberate, you know. So yeah, y'all have a great one, and I'll see y'all later, Gators. All right. <laughs> This is pissing me off. It's like, why isn't it like working properly? Like, I know why the heavens are opening. <laughs> okay, so even if it's not okay, you know, and the heavens aren't opening, <laughs> we know that we've had this time together, uh, so sublime together. But uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I hope you have a great one. And, uh, yeah. The rain is starting to really pour. Ah, ah. <laughs> mm. Terrible. And humidity is ultra mega terrible, so it's like trying to like talk to y'all so like that. <laughs> but I hope you have a great evening and stuff like that. Um Yeah, my fam's over there, but have a great evening. I just have to keep wiping the lens, y'all. It's like really bad out here. This is a dark, dense area, so I don't know. I know about some place up here, but I cannot see. They can see me, though. They can see me. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's Let's look at it. Living in um like in dense areas. But yeah, life is beautiful. <sighs> life is beautiful. We do what we gotta do. You know. We can eat this. This crab is so nourishing. I go over it. It's a cure for all, a lot of ailments. Even I know that, you know.
So I know this stuff is how it works out. Oh, look at that. Y'all, this is a pincher, y'all. That's a pincher, right here. I don't know if y'all can see it right there. See, see, it could bite you and stuff. It's a pincher. But because I know creatures are biting motherfuckers. I love my creatures, but I'm not that dumb. So I'm not gonna dig any further than what I can see. So let me rest my feet, it's gonna be peace to me. <laughs> Just know that I never, ever need to sit on the ground and be grounded. <sighs> I'm out here getting dirty for y'all. But I enjoy the view anyway. Oh, my booty hurt a little bit, but I'm enjoying the view. My feet are a little soggy. <laughs> Ew. My feet are super de duper soggy, but are right, you? So beautiful. So beautiful.
So my booster just got, oh my gosh. I just got finished trying to comment to my booster, my shark booster. My gorgeous thing here. Let me see what y'all can see. Hold up. Give me a second. I don't know what y'all can see. Okay. So, I just got out of, oh my gosh, just to finish washing my butt. Because I woke up late today, I wasn't feeling so hot. And then my grandbaby was here, and then I stayed in the house, and I just went outside today. Normally, I take multiple showers a day. I only took one today. Weird for me, right? So anyway, going back, my pooster, she just like, Sharpoo, you just like went in on your family history. All right, so with that being said, I typed a lot to her, and then I couldn't, it just disappeared. I was typing, and I typed so much and disappeared, and it irks the fudge out of me. I'm not going to curse, but it irks the, irks the freak out of me that that didn't. So I just typed her. I was like, I'll just say it in the um, actual video. So anyway, so I don't remember what I said to you. Let me go back to your comment a little bit. Hold on a second. You were talking about how things are referred to as something. Just like America. This wasn't called America. But at the same time, um, fast forwarding past that. Hold on, let me see. You know your stuff, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I love that. Um, I also grew up with my stuff. You know, all right, so growing up, let me just go back. Growing up, I grew up with my mom's side of the family. Um, my mom's side, Cherokee. Cherokee. And uh, we had pictures, we had whatever, and blah, 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 blah. My mom, also, I have a father. Surprise, right? Yeah, so my father... Um, yeah, he's Cherokee as well, and I also have an indigenous name. Like, my last name is Cherokee name. So, I've been told multiple times I was, they thought that I was married into my name and stuff like that. Just goofy stuff. So, but with my family, I always knew that we were Cherokee on both sides. I don't know how common it is to have people on both sides be from the same tribe. I don't know. But, um, but, uh, yeah, so, I don't even know what I was talking about. Sorry, I get sidetracked because stuff comes up because I'm the whole, like, I don't know what But yeah, so, with, uh, that being said, um, so I was raised by my mom's side or whatever, and I always knew we were Cherokee, that's what they talked about, whatever. They didn't go on, um, a lot of things, they didn't really talk about a lot of things, it's more stuff I heard, like, from the elders, being young, like, being around my grandparents, great-grandparents, stuff like that, cousins and all that. So... Um, as I got older, I got exposed to my father. I think I shared those, I, yeah, I shared those stories with y'all. And then I got mad at my father. I remember being very angry with him, the person that helped create me, you know, and he told me about his Cherokee rules or whatever, and I got mad at him. <laughs> I was so mad, and I started to succumb to the world, because from certain people in my family, they were, like, starting to take on their narrative because we moved to a certain place, and that's when I found out I was black. When I was 10, I moved to D.C., and I found out I was black. Black. Never knew I was black before. <laughs> I know it sounds wild. But, uh, and then later on, later on, trying to sway me in a way because, I guess, because of media and stuff like that, and I took on to that. Like, I started to, like, be inspired by my family members, so I started to dismiss my own family. That's why I say people can dismiss their own families. Because of the American, like, lie. Because colonizers, like, lie and the media and stuff like that. So, I started to take on this there. And I started to diss my own family. Be like, oh, well, my father this, his mother this, and stuff like that. And I remember doing that in spite of what I was told that was true. I just started to just be mad and make stuff up. Because of media. So, that being said, um, it's disgusting. It's deplorable. And uh, I know how... Like, the colonizers can sway your mind. Like, they can really warp your minds or whatever. And, uh, I've talked about this before. I don't want to get too much into that. But, yeah, I've had people actually tell me my own surname. I must have married into it. I've never married a day in my life. And that's not nothing to brag about. I've been engaged four times to four different people. But I've never been married, actually married. So, my surname is my surname. It's a Cherokee surname. But people love to be like, uh... I thought you married into that. Oh, it can't be you. It can't be. It's like, <laughs> but yeah. The world can lead you astray. You can know everything about your history, and the world can make you take on something else. It's wild. The world can, like, a lot of times, the world also can, uh, like, make people 
make people, which I don't do, bleach your skin. Make people, like, deny their hair. Just make people think that the, um, the, uh, colonizers or the, they, it can make you, make you think the mutation is the, the goal. And the thing is, like, the mutation is not the goal. Um, people need to remember where they came from and what started the world's black and everything. And I'm just tired. I'll talk about this more later. But yeah, the world can definitely sway you if you're not strong-minded. But you can also come back if you're strong-minded as well. So with me, I came back from it. And uh, yeah, this is just, I don't remember what I was trying to talk about with you. But yeah, it's late and I'm tired. And uh, yeah, I'll come back to this later. Or maybe not. Maybe I won't come back to this later. But uh, yeah, I'm tired as a motherfucker. Um, yeah, but yeah, the world can definitely make you feel like you want to stick on that narrative. And it's not even your own. You know, so yeah. So according to my family, we are Cherokee on both sides. And that's what I go with. And there's no African ancestry or anything like that. However, I did. <sighs> I'm so stupid. Like, I was so stupid at the time, you know? Because I was just so mad at racism. I was so mad at it. I was so mad at it. Even though knowing what I've dealt with with African people, other people of other ethnicities and everything, everything that was in my face, I still was ready, ready to dismiss that because of colonization and racism. So. Yeah, we know our stories for real because when you're African, you know what tribes you come from, you know, whatever. When you're Native American, you know what tribes you come from, whatever. And when you're Asian, you know what tribes you come from, whatever. Like, it's just, it's, it's what it is, you know. But we sometimes, especially in the past, we let things like so it's a bit out of anger. How can we not be angry? How can we not? But yeah, I'm gonna end this, um, end this for now and. Thanks, Looser. All right. Good night. Uh, this will be up tomorrow. <laughs> this is my tomorrow video. And I'll come back if I need something else. So, but yeah, thank you. She broke it down, y'all. And I wish I could break it down more, but I had a few sips. And a few dips. Tight, but all right. <laughs> all right. This is foggy again. Why is it foggy every day, y'all? This humidity out here. far back it irritates you because you can't hear what I'm saying. And look, it just keeps smoking up. All right, let me um sit down. Maybe in the car will be better. Ugh. But yeah, it feels really good out today. It's uh, dang. I might have to wait till I get home. It's so humid. Uh, yeah, but it's a really nice day. It's breezy, but it's kind of humid, but it's a little moist in the air, but it's not bad. But anyway, I'll talk to y'all when I get home because my camera's acting up. What's going on, beautiful people? I know I said I would do the daily, everyday um, uh, videos for a while. I don't know, though. I, you, I have an issue with committing. Like, I really do have an issue with committing to things. <laughs> I hate schedules and stuff like that. It's just something that I've always been like. Uh, sorry. Ooh. But, uh, yeah, I've, uh, I just always have had an issue with committing to, like, schedules and stuff like that. I just don't like it. And then I changed my mind so much. Like, I, like I'm the type of person, like, I don't make plans to go out with anybody in advance because I know I'm probably going to flake. So I'd be like, maybe. I always just say maybe. But um, I had uh, seen something yesterday in my feed. It said something about how black, how, why black people never adopt black children. And I'm like, is that even true? That can't be right. I haven't done any research on it or anything like that, so y'all can let me know if that's true or not. But, um, yeah, so... With that being said, I thought about it like this way. Like I said, if I ever was to adopt a child that was not, that was, let us say, a white child, then I would do my best. I won't be doing it to make or improve their life and to do my best to make sure that they don't become racist. You know, maybe those people are adopting white kids to make sure. And I don't know if it's, if it's just in general, you know, if it's, they didn't specify. They just said, why don't they adopt, why don't black people, it's just something about black people not adopting black children. And I, I, that can't be right, you know. Um, 
Yeah. Um, I don't know, because black kids are the ones that, it, well, all kids in adoption need it, but black kids are the least adopted, so it's like you would want to adopt black kids, you know what I mean? Like, if you're black. And then they get, then people, like, if they're capable, if they're able to adopt, it's like, and you don't choose your own uh, FSC to adopt, which is nothing wrong with adopting anybody. But at the same time, if you're single, like specifically singling out your ethnicity and that kid needs you too, it's like crazy because then people, those, those might be the same people that complain about white people adopting black kids and making them like slaves or treating them badly or doing all this crazy mess with them. So, um, yeah, it's a real issue. But, uh, yeah, if I was rich or something... Not at this age, though. <laughs> I used to want to back in the day to adopt um, a few kids. And, yeah. But, yeah, the, the rules were different then and stuff. It was back in the day when I was still young, a young whippersnapper. <laughs> They're going those old terms. But, yeah, adoption is great. I wish that more people would adopt kids. First, first, I wish they would adopt their own ethnicity. And I wish it was easier for them, too. And they uh, could provide them with the love that they need because everyone needs love and for you to thrive as a mother freaking even in adults and you know I always talk about that but yeah I wonder if that's true I might look at, I don't know because my mind will be on something one second and then off of it the next but yeah that can't be true I just I, I refuse to believe that I re refuse to believe black people want to adopt, adopt black children I refuse to believe that but um I believe that black people are open to adopting anyone because we're like the most accepting people you know so for the most part yeah, so, I don't know. Anyway, it was just something that I had thought about, and I was like, maybe I should speak on that. It, I mean, it's not anything I have to do to change it or anything, but it's just, I, that can't be true. Anyway, I'm cooking, y'all. I'm already hungry. It's early. It's like 10, 11, and I'm already starving, like Marvin out this motherfucker. Anyway, all right, y'all. Oh, early. <laughs> I'll share that later, but all right, y'all. Oh, and I was supposed to do my little, uh, use my clip-ins. Uh, no, I'm just, it's too hot outside to be putting fake crap in your head, but all right. You don't already know ignorance fires racism it, it like it like engulfs a person in racism like ignorance racism is ignorance so the thing with the kids is like just making sure that they know that people are people and that they're loved too by everyone not just you know one group of people so yeah anyway all right as a matter of fact let me stop playing i said i'm gonna get this up so i'm gonna do it right now because if i don't do it right now I'm not gonna do it so yeah all right i'm still trying to commit to the daily just for a little bit to see if i can get back in the groove of it but eek it's just such a commitment but all right y'all